So this is a practical uh, to investigate uh, the law of reflection. Now, the law of reflection, as stated, is, um, as it shows here, that the angle of incident, the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. And what that means is in this situation down here where you've got a, a mirror, in this case a plain flat mirror, you've got an instant ray coming in and that reflects off the mirror. This line here is called the normal and the normal, is, is, as is indicated by this, is at 90 degrees to the surface of the mirror. So the law of reflection says that the angle of instant, which is this angle here between the instant ray and the normal, is equal to the angle of reflection between the normal and the reflected ray. Okay, so that is the law of reflection. Instant angle is equal to reflected angle in all cases. So we are going to do an investigation to check that. So I did this using a protractor, um, but we're going to verify that this does work. So I'm just going to put this to one side for a minute. Now, to do this practical, you are going to need a mirror. Here, there's the camera. You need the mirror. You need a protractor. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a sharp pencil, and you will need a ray box with as thin a ray as possible. Where we're going to start is by drawing a mirror line. I'm giving myself plenty of room to work with here. So the hash lines behind the line indicate that it is a mirror. Okay, so that is my hash line, that represents where the mirror is going to go. Now the next thing I'm going to draw on is I'm going to use the protractor to draw on a normal line. So that is a line at 90 degrees. To the surface, I'm just going to label that as normal so it's nice and clear. Now, what we need at this point is an incident ray, and what I'm going to do 10, 20, 30, 40, just to match the diagram we drew before, is draw an incident ray at 40 degrees. I should put an arrow on that to show it's the instant ray coming in. Maybe I can even label it. So that angle is 40 degrees and that is the incident angle. Okay, so the next thing I need to do to make sure my mirror is nice and clean is take my mirror and put it on the mirror line. Now I can't just put it any old way what I've got to do is make sure that the back of the mirror, in fact, if I zoom in on this, um, how is this going to work best? Like this. So what I'm going to do is line my mirror up so that the back of the mirror here, the back of the mirror is in line with this. So if I look from the top, that's a better view. So it's not the front of the glass here that is in line with the mirror line. It's the back of the mirror because the back of the mirror where the actual reflection happens. And if I look at the other side, that is also nicely lined up. So, mirror is lined up. And just one final check that that is properly lined up. Yeah, we 
are good. So, mirror lined up perfectly. Now, what we're going to do is take our ray box and line it up so that the incident ray coming from the ray box is going following that line. Now I've been very careful to make sure that the ray I've drawn on paper is as close as possible down the middle of the ray that I have drawn. So it just takes a little bit of moving around to get it perfectly lined up. I think that's about as close as we're going to get it. Um, the camera's just struggling to see that. Hopefully that helps. But you can see that the ray I've drawn on paper is going right down the middle um, of the real light ray coming from the ray box. Now, the way I'm going to draw um, here is not quite lined up. Now, um, the way I'm going to mark this reflected ray is I'm going to use my sharp pencil and I'm going to mark crosses just in the middle of the light ray there. So crosses are much more accurate than doing sort of dots or dashes or anything. So small crosses where the centre of the cross is right in the middle of the light ray. Now, once I've drawn those, I can remove this, I can remove that. And what I'm going to do is connect up my two dots that I have drawn like that. the way up, lovely, and I can use my protractor to measure the instant angle. Now I can see there that that is not quite 40, So if you look carefully, it's coming out there at 39 degrees. If I Ooh. zoom in on that carefully. So it's coming out at 39 degrees. Um, but part of that will be due to um, me trying to work this for the camera. Rather than being as careful as I could be with the equipment. Now. I would say 39 degrees with 40 in uh, is pretty close. So in terms of this practical, I'm going to say that that has worked. So um, in terms of the practical, um, where we said that the incident angle would be equal to the reflected angle, this practical plus minus a little bit of experimental um, kind of error there um, has worked. There we go.